Hi, Assalamualaikum to all of you beautiful people out there. So, mari kita baca soalan dia. Dear editor, on Sunday night, I attended the Merdeka Day celebration in my hometown. There were nice decorations and fantastic group performances which brought the festive mood to my childhood town. However, I must say I was very sad and disappointed with the behavior of certain people who attended the function. Food and drinks were given to them. Sadly, the place was littered with rubbish after the event. The most sickening sight was the amount of plastic wrappers thrown in the drains. Ini tulisan daripada dia cakap concerned citizen maksudnya uh, penduduk yang bimbang lah. Oke, okay, so ma- mari kita rungkai satu-satu apa maksud dia. Kehadapan penerbit dia cakap dia editor. On Sunday night pada malam Minggu, saya menghadiri I attended. Saya telah pun menghadiri perayaan Hari Kemerdekaan di tempat kampung halaman saya, hometown, in my hometown. There were nice decorations and fantastic group performances. Terdapat banyak dekorasi yang cantik dan persembahan kumpulan yang menakjubkan maksudnya yang menarik which brought the festive mood to my childhood town yang membangkitkan uh, mood perayaan lah di kampung halaman saya di tempat saya membesar however walau bagaimanapun i must say i was very sad and disappointed saya saya sangat kecewa dan saya sangat sedih very sad sedih, sedih. And disappointed means kecewa with the behavior of certain people uh, dengan perlakuan ataupun perangai sesetengah orang yang telah pun menghadiri acara tersebut. Food and drinks were given to them. Makanan dan minuman diberikan kepada mereka. Sadly, yang menyedihkan, uh, the place was littered. Littered ni maksudnya simbolik kepada dipenuhi lah, dilimpahi. The place was littered. With rubbish after the event, dipenuhi dan dibanjiri dengan sampah sarap selepas acara tu berakhir. The most sickening sight yang paling meloyakan pandangan was the amount of plastic wrappers, jumlah bungkusan plastik thrown in the drains. Thrown ni dia pas participle untuk root word throw. Kalau past tense dia throw. Kalau past participle akan jadi thrown into the drains dibuang ke dalam parit macam orang Sabah bilang parit <laughs> what was the writer concerned about apakah yang penulis ni paling bimbang dalam teks yang dia buat kepada editor ni a the unhealthy food on offer kamu tengok dia cuma mention food and drinks were given to them makanan dan minuman diberikan kepada mereka dan dia tidak mention pun tentang what types of food they were given. Uh, jenis makanan apa yang diorang diberi. So, basically, A, out from kita punya. Pilihan jawapan dia. E, the poor garbage collection. So, boleh jadi ini jawapan kita sebab dia mention pasal banyak sampah sarap, plastic wrappers di dalam drains dan juga orang-orang buang sampah after the event. So, boleh jadi kita keep dulu B as our answer. So, we go to C. The waste of food and drinks. Dia ada mention pun sisa makanan, makanan yang sudah dimakan dah habis. Dia tidak mention tu, dia cuma mention food and drinks were given to them. Dan dia cuma mention tentang bekas makanan yang digunakan, bukannya sisa makanan. So, si hmm, macam bukan. So, kita buang siap-siap. Cut out siap-siap. And then, we go to D. The attitude of some individuals. Boleh jadi, the best answer will be B. The poor garbage collection. Tu dia punya kebimbangan. Dia tunjukkan kebimbangan dia. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Dan marilah sama-sama memperkasakan bahasa Inggeris kita. Gitulah. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Thank you Zaima for the reading and explanation for baca tool session 2 the purpose of this uh, program is baca cari tuliskan so we need to tulis right now so uh, on the screen now we have five words yang teacher sudah pilih i already chose five words for you and all of the meaning of this these words are already explained by
Kak Mima. Here are the list of the words and the meaning. Attended, menghadiri performances, persembahan. Tahun bandar, disappointed, merasa kecewa. Amount jumlah. Remember, to form your sentence, you have to have subject, verb and complement. Subject, siapa. Verb tu, apa dia buat. Uh, dan yang di belakangnya itu kita boleh guna ACD bimbang lah macam yang kita sudah sebut yang sesi sebelumnya. Jadi siapa buat apa? Okay, remember that. For example, we want to use the first uh, word which is attended. Jadi kita fikir attended menghadiri. Siapa yang menghadiri? Contohlah kita guna nama Mahmud. Mahmud attended. Okay, the complement part we need to remember ACD bimbang. Apa? Siapa? Di mana? Bila? Bagaimana? Okay. Contohlah kita tanya, apa? Mungkin jawapannya, majlis itu. Majlis ialah the ceremony. So, Mahmud attended the ceremony. Kita mau kasih lebih lagi sikit. Tanya lagi, di mana? Mungkin jawapannya, di sekolah. Di sekolah maksudnya at the school. Mahmud attended the ceremony at the school. Tambah lagi, dengan siapa? With his friends. Mahmud attended the ceremony at the school with his friends. Ini caranya untuk kamu membina ayat yang Sangat mudah ni. Okay, itu saja. We'll try again tomorrow.